listen, Alex Bregman and his wife Reagan, they're celebrating one week with their new bundle of joy. Last week on August 1st, Reagan delivered their baby boy, Knox Samuel Bregman. The baby came during game time Monday night, so Alex mixed that game, but he was back in the lineup on Tuesday. Yeah, he was, but before he left the hospital that day, he spent a few minutes with our next guest. Please welcome Valerie Dominey to Houston Life. And Valerie, this was sort of a chance meeting. Uh, it was so Absolutely. tell us, tell us what went down. You were um, visiting your dad in the hospital yes, and you saw a familiar face. Yeah, my dad is there waiting for a lung transplant. So um, we've been going up there for the past month. Um, so I'm very familiar with the lobby and kind of my route to get there. And I uh, quickly noticed a familiar face when I was walking by enough to catch my attention and do a double take. Um, and I saw him kind of look over his shoulder at me like, oh no, somebody may have noticed me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scooting in and yeah. out of this. So but... I did a quick Google just to make sure um, that he would have a reason to be there and they had announced the birth so I kind of worked up the courage to go back and um, tell him congratulations and just chat with them for a second. And it's so great. I mean they are such great. I, I, the Bregmans are lovely within the community. They always want to talk to the fans. Yes. Um, but this was kind of a big 24 hours for him and the family. It First was. time dad. He looked pretty tired. Yes he did. That's what made it obvious that he was there having a baby. That's actually what I googled was did Alex Bregman have his baby because he had that full disheveled new dad look. <laughs> um, he was in the moment for sure. So it was really kind of him to take a second and talk to me. Your dad has been through a lot. Uh, yes. He was a U.S. Navy veteran, honorably discharged in the 90s because yes. of a back injury. He's had a, a series of health issues over the years. Right now he's awaiting a lung transplant. Correct. And he just happens to be a huge Astros fan. He is. So during this meeting with Alex Bregman, uh, you asked him to do a little favor for you. I did. So I mentioned to him that if he had time, he could go upstairs and visit my dad. Um, um, he was on his way to a game and had a newborn, so understandably was not available. Um, so he kindly offered to do a video for him and just give him a shout out, a quick pick me up, and um, I didn't even have to ask. So uh, it was incredible for him to take that moment and do a short message that definitely lifted my dad's spirits. And I can imagine your dad's reaction. Yes, so once I woke him up when I got in the room, I was like, Dad, you have to see this. Um, he thought it was amazing. He's been a baseball fan his whole life. He played baseball growing up, um, so he kind of taught me everything Thing about the sport and it was kind of a cool full circle moment um, to go up there and show him a video with a message just for him. Yeah, an unexpected surprise to uplift yeah. your dad's spirits. I think we have that video clip uh, right now. Hey Ron, it's Alex. Just want to say hello. Best of luck. <laughs> awesome. He does look a little sleepy. Yes, but that he does. was super nice. <laughs> yes. You know, and just for the two of you to really share that story, I mean, I'm sure that he felt for you in that moment oh, as yeah. well. And I know it, it's difficult when you're visiting a loved one in a hospital and you find a way to find some light in the day yes. to really lift them up. I mean, that's exactly what the, the doctor ordered on that day. Yes, for it is, dad. definitely. And it's difficult with him because he's bound to the bed. Yeah. He's on so much oxygen. So we can't really get him out to go do things. So this was kind of a perfect pick me up moment um, to share with him, to it, give him something to smile about. Well, and, and, he has a beautiful smile. I love seeing these family photos. Yes. Uh, is your dad watching right now? He is. He's in the hospital room watching. They had some service issues earlier, so I'm hoping that they're good to go and he's able to watch this live. Um, do you have a message for him? Um, yes, absolutely I do. Um, I love you, Dad. Uh, I believe in you, and I know you can get through this. You've dedicated yourself to it, and all we got to do is finish these last three hoops, and uh, we're going to get there. Oh. Very nice. It's yeah. so lovely. Well, we know we're rooting for you as well. Stay strong and keep us updated. Absolutely. And I such will. a cool thing to have that message and to just show that to your dad. It what is. A, what a great it is. moment. It's going to stick with him forever for sure. So hopefully it's enough to get him through and uh, get to this lung transplant so he can get back out there and start living life again. Well, and best of luck to your entire family, Valerie, Thank because you. I know that when you have a loved one yeah. in the hospital, it is a village. It is. Um, you all feel the stress it of it, I'm sure. It is definitely. So nice people like that in the city of Houston, you know, walking around to put a smile on your face in a tough time definitely yeah. comes in handy. And it's so sweet. I know we showed the pictures of your mom and dad. They've been married for over 35 years. They have. So congratulations. She's up there with him right oh, now watching this. So. What a beautiful story. We're <laughs> yes, pulling absolutely. for you guys. Thank Valerie, you so thanks much. so much. Thank Do appreciate you. it. Well, Valerie is currently working to become a published author and hopes to write about her experience caring for her father. If you would like to follow that journey, look under the scene on section of HoustonLife.tv.